I'm Tyler Suiters in the Energy News Center. Our blue skies could become a little greener in the years to come. British Airways now has a partnership with biomass company Solena to establish Europe's first sustainable jet fuel plant. That fuel will be derived from waste biomass, something the British Airways hopes to begin using in the year 2014. The companies here say the resulting annual CO2 reductions would be equivalent to taking 48,000 cars off the road. Joining us now to discuss the idea and the possibilities is Dr. Robert Doe. He is president and CEO of Solana Group based here in Washington. Robert, good to have you with us today. Nice Let's start with one of the most uh, stunning statistics I saw in our research on this. That is that the life cycle GHG savings here of this new fuel would be up to 95% greater than the, the jet fuel we're dealing with right now. That's correct. And based on the European standards and the calculations that British Airways have used, um, fuel that are derived from waste product, second generation fuel as compared to first generation product. We're starting almost with a zero carbon footprint. So mm -hmm. therefore, it's a significant saving when you replace on a one-to-one -one basis with um, kerosene, mm -hmm. petroleum-based jet fuel. Now, in the agreement that Solana has with British Airways, we're talking about half a million tons of landfill waste used by the year 2014, resulting in 16 million gallons of this, what is essentially carbon neutral aviation fuel. What kind of feedstock do you get for that? When you're talking about half a million tons annually, where does that come from? Well, um, half a million tons uh, of material that's destined for landfill essentially or residues um, of urban waste generated by the City of London. Mm -hmm. The City of London today documented between four to six million tons generated uh, from household urban waste. And then you can double that amount from commercial uh, waste. So therefore, we're looking at annual eight million plus generation of these product. They normally would be processed either to a recycling system or MBT, they call it mechanical biological treatment, where then they sort it, segregate the product. 60% or more of that ended up in railed out to landfills and then deposited in landfill. So, you know, this is a fraction of that amount that's available. What about the impetus to put this agreement together? Uh, British Airways has made significant commitments uh, looking out to 2050 in terms of CO2 reductions. Uh, this is not the first airline to think about something like this. Uh, Virgin, back in 2008, uh, had the first commercial flight powered by biofuel. Last year in 2009, a jet based in Houston ran on an algae-based fuel. Why the aviation industry and why right now for this convergence? Well, first of all, the, because of the in, impetus to reduce carbon footprint, the aviation industry actually was not part of the Kyoto Protocol, and they hope to be part of the next COP15. And uh, certain leaderships, such as Willie Walsh, chairman of, of BA, together with Sir Branson's, looking at always meeting that reduction in, in carbon footprint. I want to clarify that though no airlines has actually flown on 100% biofuel, all of those flight that you mentioned were test flight where a fraction of the flight utilizes a small portion of various form of um, oil. Uh, typically uh, we're looking at plant oil, whether algae oil or whether um, coconut oil as right. in case so of virgin. Right, making that famous yeah, and, and, uh, and public appearance, exactly. drinking the coconut and, oil. And it's a very small amount of fuel that's being used because they're not commercially produced. Uh, this is uh, the impetus is to reduce carbon footprint. Uh, the target now with the airline proposing is 50 percent reduction by 2050. Mm -hmm. uh, to BA, that's the goal of reducing um, w that can be met with about 10 percent utilizing biofuel. Okay. So um, the commitment by airline, just like any other industries, are that we all want to reduce carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. But you know, the airline transport is one of the few industries that's continuing to grow, and the anticipation is 4 to 5 percent a year. Mm -hmm. So that percent of carbon will continue to increase. Well, an important distinction there that you made, Doctor, in terms of the percentage of biofuel or alternative fuel used in those flights, what in those terms then is proof of concept for Solena and for British Airways. This plant will be up and running in 2014. Do you need a flight powered 100% by your product? 
Um, actually, uh, what we're proposing and what British Airways are partnering with is to produce a fuel utilizing fissiotrope technology. Fissiotrope is a process that's been proven to generate a jet fuel quality specs. You see, the challenge of these fuel, biofuel particularly in the aviation industry, is that the thermal stability of it. First generation like bioethanol or palm oil or biodiesel are not thermally stable when the flight are flying at minus 50 degrees. Mm -hmm. We're talking about high altitude. They would freeze. So they would need a fuel that has that thermal stability, hence a lot of testing. But on the other hand, synthetic fuel made by fissiotrope processes has already proven and got certified by the aviation industry that it can meet those thermal stability. In fact, British Airways have flown on fissiotrope-based fuel when they fly in and out of South Africa in Joburg, where they are making fissiotrope fuel from coal. Therefore, the specs of the fuel is well proven and approved by the ASTM, the U.S. Standards for Aviation, to be used as a 50-50 mixture. So currently, it's a proven in the aviation industry you can fly fissiotrope fuel at 50% blend. Mm -hmm. um, and therefore, for us, this plant will be producing a fissiotrope fuel that is a drop-in fuel that meets already aviation standards. So you don't then have to go through all the test flight. The partnership involves Solena and British Airways. The goal, 16 million gallons of this fuel by the year 2014. Dr. Robert Doe is president and CEO of Solena here in Washington. Doctor, a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you very much, Tyler, for and the opportunity. Of course, and thank you for joining us as well. I'm Tyler Suters. And you're watching Clean Skies News.